So, a couple things. I finally starting to get done around the house now that I got that big video project out of the way. Um, one, I'm going to start simple is there's a couple, most of the receptacles in this, are, in this house are all two prong, which is a real pain in the butt. Now, you could go get adapters, which those fall out of the, the sockets all the time because they stick way too far out and it's just more trouble than it's worth. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to, I went to Walmart, you pick these up for like $1.50. And yes, technically, you know, this means you should have a ground. Um, obviously, the house is only two wire, so that's why there is no ground receptacle. But uh, I'm tired of dealing with only two wire plugs. And so I am just going to replace them with this. Um, which you can do. Uh, again, if you know nothing about electrical or a moron or just, you know, incompetent, don't do this on your own. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go down and, and uh, uh, turn the uh, breaker off to the house so we have no power. Robin, you're going to lose internet. What? You're going to lose internet. Hold on. And inform everybody if they're going to lose internet or they'll get all upset at you. About done? So here we are at the breaker box. Mine is wide open because that's one other big project that I haven't gotten done. Um, I need to add a sub breaker box here um, when we go to install the AC, um, but that's another story. So um, I'm gonna just throw the main breaker right here and we're going to lose all power. Alright. Now, we'll go upstairs and we'll go upstairs and work on our wall sockets. Alright, so here we go. Start with this one here. And first thing you gotta do is just take the faceplate off. Like I say, this is a lot easier than, a lot uh, cheaper in the long run than buying all those stupid adapters that will end up falling out of the socket anyway. So we take the faceplate off, which is probably stuck with 20 years of glue. Or paint, I mean. Now, we have to take, Again, you want to make sure your main power is off, which we've already done. Looks like that's Phillips. So it's not a nail. It's just a flathead. It's a uh, common thread, a headed screw. It was very hard to see with all the paint. Yana, can I see the wider? Do the same thing. Let's knock the paint off here and see what we got. There we go. Now I see it. Knock the paint out of the screw. Come on, Coco. Come on, Coco. Um, long one, preferably. I have to light the stove because the electricity's off. Blue. All right. Now we'll pull this out. See what we got here. All right. So now, once you get it all pulled out like so, we just need to disconnect the wires. Set your screws aside so you don't lose them.
And so today I'm just changing out two of these guys, one over by the sofa so I can plug my computer in, my laptop, and one over here so we can plug in our extension cord um, and have it not keep falling out of the wall. Um, and also it's we have one of those extension things onto the end of the uh, the iPad cable that came from one of my old other uh, computers so it's a three prong even though you don't need a three prong um, so yeah um, I'm going to just take these all the way out so it's easier to work with and as you can see this house doesn't have a ground um, it was built in 1910 so you know technically the correct way to do this would be to run new wire um, but again I'm really never going to be plugging anything in here that actually requires a ground it's just for convenience more than anything uh, so. also on another note is when you're installing these, this is how they go. They don't go like this. This is what morons do. This is the right way. I'm not even an electrician and I know this. I've got to go up on the rest of the house and fix all the other jacks that were put in upside down because somebody was an idiot. So then we'll want to use just uh, loosen this up a bit so we can get the wires in there. Just get them all loose. Lulu, you want a bell? All right. Come on, you want some? So once you get too fastened there, yeah, we'll go to the other side. Come on, Lulu. Come here. Okay. There we go. Those tightened down. Now, so where's the electrical tape in that? Um, normally, I would wouldn't even bother with this if it was a plastic one. But uh, I mean, you, you, these aren't going to be touching the edges anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and do it as a precaution, just to be safe. Make sure you get it in the right way, not upside down. Start 
there. down here with the wall not necessarily with the hole in the wall got it. I went ahead and put this one in down here. And so that's now changed to a three prong for the ground. This one is now changed so we can plug in our, this is just our iPad, but we have the extension on it. So now we can plug that in and I can also plug my computer in with no issue. And that's just a vacuum cleaner plug right there. But now we can plug in with no issue.